In this video, we're going to finally push the schematic into the layout. This is where we build the physical implementation of the schematic. We've already added a blank PCB. We're going to transfer the design, the schematic design, to the printed circuit board. And we're going to do that through an engineering change order process. A very fancy formal name, but it's a couple of mouse clicks. And then we're going to see the circuit board and the room with all the parts. At this point, we'll be able to illustrate one of the important features of Altium, which is the ability to go back and forth between identifying a component in the schematic and the corresponding component in the layout, or vice versa. Do you remember when we started the project in Altium, we said we needed two specific components in order to start a project. We needed the schematic sheet, which we've been using all along, and we created at the same time a PCB doc sheet. This is the layout. We haven't done anything with it. It's still sitting here. If we open it up and look at it, it's just literally a, a blank screen. Now what we're going to do is tell Altium to take the schematic information in the database that's, that's embedded in the schematic and push that over as footprint information and connectivity information into that layout page. And the way we do that is to come over here to design update PCB document. And if you notice, hey look, there is our PCB document. Very clever name, PCB1, but it's important to look at the extensions, PCB doc. So all we have to do is say update, and now we get our engineering change order. And we can glance through and say, okay, it's telling the tool, we're gonna add all of these components, all of these nets, we're going to create a room. A room is the place in which those parts are going to be um, the the parts are going to be placed that we'll be able to select and move around. And oh look, hey, it's got a couple of rules. These are the rules that we set uh, in order to um, identify. Hey, these are some power traces. I want it to be extra wide. So this is telling us these are things to do. We're going to validate the changes. Oh wow, look at that. Everything has been checked. No errors. And now we execute the changes. Ah, a little bit of chunking in there. And look, look at all the, the um, changes that have been executed. That's great. And so we are done. And we say close. And when we close, look, we've opened up the uh, layout page, the PCB page. And look, here are all of our parts that have come over. And now this is the layout page. This is the schematic page. We've got the tabs up above here. I'm going to put them side by side. I don't need the components panel anymore. I'm going to close that down. And instead, let's go to window and we're going to tile these um, and let's do them vertically. I'm going to clean up the windows here. I don't need the home page. So I'm going to close the home page. I've got the layout page on one side. I've got the schematic on the other side. I'm going to use my um, control mouse zoom to zoom in on some of these parts. We want to be able to cross-select a component in the schematic and see it highlighted in the layout or vice versa. That's going to help us in keeping track of the components and just making sure we're selecting the one we think we are. Just to make sure that we have cross-select selected, we go to Tools and Cross-Select Mode. And sometimes if we had checked it accidentally, it's not highlighted and we don't have that ability to cross-select between the layout and the schematic. And so we want to make sure that that option is selected for us. And there we see that we have the little highlight next to it. Now we can click on any of the symbols in the schematic and see the corresponding footprint in the layout. Let's try that. Let's look, take a look at where is that filter capacitor that's going to go next to the power rail. So we'll click to highlight it, and if you look really closely, hey, there it is right here. Uh, let's see, where's the LED diode that's going to go as our indicator? Oh, that's also over there. Let's see, where is uh, one of the uh, LEDs that's going to drive with the 555? Let's grab this one. Where is that? Ah, here it is over here. Every one of the components in the schematic have a corresponding footprint in the layout. Now, if we're in the layout, we can also click on one of the components. Let's try the 555 timer. 
where is that in the schematic? Oh, there it is, highlighted. What about this switch? Which switch is that? Oh, there it is over here. And that gives us the ability to identify each of the components really simply and very easily when we start moving them over to the circuit board. And now we're ready to set up the constraints in the circuit board uh, in order to define some of the geometrical features that we want to implement.